So we nerds were riveted by the coverage of ESA's Rosetta mission and its arrival at Comet 67P in 2014. And one such nerd is Paco Juarez, friend of the show and patron and cameraman right now. He wanted to know why is it so darn hard to land on a comet. So in 2014, the tiny Philae lander detached from the spacecraft and slowly descended down to the surface of the comet. If everything went well, it would have gracefully touched down and then sent back a pile of information about this filthy roving snowball. And as you know, the landing didn't go according to plan. Instead of gently touching down on 67P, Philae bounced off the surface of the comet like a tennis ball dropped from a tower and rose a kilometer off the surface, then more descending and more bouncing, finally settling down on rugged terrain, surrounded by crevices and large boulders. At that point, engineers lost contact with the lander and so much science went undone. If I recorded this video a few months ago, that would have been the end of the story. You know how this goes. Space exploration is hard and dangerous. Don't be surprised when your missions fail and space unfeelingly smashes up your pretty little robot probes with their little gold foil 27 pieces of flare. Fortunately, I'm able to report that ESA regained contact with the Philae lander on June 13, 2015, resuming its mission and scientific operations. But why is landing on a comet so difficult? And what does this tell us about future robotic and human missions to smaller comets and asteroids? When ESA engineers designed Philae, they knew it was going to be very difficult to land on a comet like 67P because they have such a low gravity. And they have such a low gravity because they're little, not very massive. So on Earth, six septillion tons of rock and metal give you an escape velocity of 11.2 kilometers per second. That's how fast you need to be able to jump in order to leave the planet entirely. But the escape velocity of 67P is only one meter per second. You could trip off the comet and never return while small children threw rocks at you from the surface as you drifted away. Philae was built with harpoon drills in its landing struts. The moment the lander touched the surface of the comet, those harpoons were supposed to fire, securing the lander. The surface of the comet was softer than scientists had anticipated, and the harpoons didn't fire, or possibly they were broken and couldn't fire. Space is hard. Whatever the case, without being able to grab onto the surface, it used the comet as a bouncy castle. So we're learning what it takes to land on lower mass objects like comets and asteroids. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission will visit Comet Bennu and send a lander down to the surface of the asteroid. And from there, it'll pick up a few samples and return them back to Earth. It'll be Philae all over again. In the future, we're told, humans will be visiting asteroids to study them for science and their potential for ice and minerals. But you can imagine it'll be a harrowing descent, and even just walking around on the surface will be dangerous when every step could throw an astronaut into an escape trajectory. They only to learn lessons from rock climbers and Rorschach. As we learned with Philae, landings on low mass objects is really tough. We're going to need to get more practice and develop new techniques and technologies before we're ready to add asteroid mining to our list of stuff that we just do. No big deal. What are some unusual worlds you'd like humanity to visit? Put your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen. We'd like to thank Joe McTee. Isis Douglas and the rest of the members who support us in making great space astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get in the action? Click here. At that point, engineers lost contact. Mm. At that point, engineers lost contest. Is that the exact same word? Contest. contest.